all set? I said. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace. Happy day after Christmas. I'm going to share with you one of my Christmas gifts. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes. He just raised his eyebrows at me. <laughs> I am from western New York. That's the country. It's not the city. Now, those of you that think New York, you ought to instantly think big buildings, flashing lights. Um, no. <laughs> There's no big buildings around unless you... Unless my house is the big building, I suppose. <laughs> but there's it's it's country. There's grape vineyards across the street. And it is wide open space. Lots of wind, lots of snow. Um, there's traffic, but not like in the city. Because we're, we're hours away from the city. Oh gosh, probably 10 hours. 10 hours. 10 hours away from the city. So we're a long ways from New York City. So when I say Western New York, think country. Think real out in the country, nowhere near um, any big cities. And a lot of you that think of the Finger Lakes, I'm not even near them. <laughs> I'm nope. far away. Well, anyways, I'm going to put a little video in of a gift that I got for Christmas. And it's from my daughter, Jessica. And it's homemade. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's put that in right here. This is the project that Jessica made. Aren't they beautiful? Look at this. And would you believe they're made out of coat hangers? Look at that. Those are coat hangers that she put together. Here comes Jim. I could hear you coming. <laughs> I used the GoPro this time. I forgot to push record on the other one, so I gotta do it again. But they're gorgeous. Look at that. And these are just coat hangers with some lights. Okay, you can turn the lights on so we can see. There they are. As pretty as pretty can be. She had these hanging in her shop for a while and somebody asked her where all her pretty decorations went. And she said they were meant as a Christmas present, so she had to bring them back here. This is, they're so nifty. There they are. My own shining stars. Wasn't that just beautiful? I just love it. She is so talented and so creative. Just like her mother. Oh, that's what you say all the time. <laughs> he embarrasses me. Okay, now we'll move on to my eggs, if you don't mind. <laughs> Not my eggs, the chicken's eggs. I was, I, one time I had read that all eggs were the same on the inside. Well, I was peeling eggs tonight. I had boiled, um... A little over a dozen eggs because I had eight dozen in the refrigerator. And I says, you know, maybe it's time I boiled some and get some of these eggs out of that refrigerator because if they're boiled and I make deviled eggs, they they go really fast. Well, um, when I was peeling them, I said to Jim, look at this. This is a green egg, but this one is white inside, and this is a green egg, and this one is kind of bluish inside. So I'm going to put that little video in right here. I was just peeling eggs and I said to Jim, I said, they said that the green eggs were supposed to be white on the inside. Well, this is a green egg and it's white on the inside. But then I came to this green egg and it's blue on the inside. And I'm thinking, how come it's blue when it's supposed to be white like the rest? And the brown egg is white on the inside. A white egg is white on the inside. So I looked it up and this is what I found. It says, um, I can't even read through the camera. <laughs> it says, What's a green egg? The result of crossbreeding genes from blue egg shells with genes from brown egg shells. These festive colored eggs are green on the outside and blue on the inside. Only a few chickens 
chicken breeds can produce this colored eggshell, which makes them a rarer, rarer find. So apparently, one of my brown hens, my brown laying hen, hens, probably my buffs, was crossed with the Americana rooster that I had, and this is the breed that I ended up with. So I've got a rare breed here. I only have one, though. The rest of them are white on the inside. I only have this one that peels, and it's a pretty greenish blue on the inside. So I have a rare breed. That's be nice a, if we knew which chicken was. I don't know which one it is. I'd have to crack every egg that they lay, and I'm not about to do that. <laughs> not, I, I like to use the old ones first and then the new ones later. So that I thought was interesting. You might find this interesting too. Isn't it amazing how the breed of bird can change the egg? Well, never knew that before. I didn't know it either until I was peeling the eggs and thinking, what the heck's wrong with this eggshell? You know well, about the different colors of the outsides. Right. But I, I, I always thought they were supposed to be white on the inside. Well, they are, unless you've got a special bird, and I must have a special bird. Well, that's my video for today. I hope you all had a great day and you rested after yesterday's holiday. And if you had a lot of commotion in your life, let's take it calmly down now. No, that's dumb. I don't like what I just said. <laughs> but I got to figure out how to change it. Well, I hope you had a great day. That's all I say. Alrighty, bye.